I don't think anyone's actually here yet. So let me just pop on full screen for now and show you what I'm going to attempt to try and get through, at least in some small part today. So obviously this is in preparation for my next video. So if you're watching this early, here you go. Here's a preview for some of the games that I'll be showing in this one. This is my hidden gems list of games. And there was a few that I got from Kex earlier today. And I was really disappointed, honestly, because look, look at what is there in the corner. Cover reprinted. I hate it so much when they do that and they don't tell you. But there we go. There's the game, Dream Trigger 3D. So that is the first game that we're going to be checking out tonight. I've heard this is a pretty interesting shoot 'em up for the system. And the game is really stuck in there tight. So there we go. Got it out. But yeah, so disappointed with Kex. Look at that. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. But hopefully, hopefully the game is good. And while we're waiting for people, let's have a look and see my notifications. It looks like I got some new followers. So, uh, Brighted Bite, Chucked7777, uh, Fight Magic Item Run. Awesome. Thank you all so much. And let's check out Dream Trigger 3D. So let's switch it to 3DS Stream. Hopefully there's sound there. And we can get started. I'm playing on my capture card 3DS. With a 3D up for me, but you won't be able to see that, unfortunately. And I'm also capturing gameplay from these at the same time uh, for my video. Whoa, the 3D is deep on this one. Whoa. That is crazy. Some of these early games, like, the 3D is, like, really overpowering compared to some of the newer ones. Like, if I... How do I do... 3D mode. There you go. You can see, like, obviously the way the red and blue separates. Look how far apart they go. So, if you've got red and blue glasses, you can uh, you can put them on and see what that actually looks like. But that's pretty crazy. Wow, it actually looks really good in 3D. Whoa. Let's turn it down a little bit. I won't leave it like that, obviously, but that kind of gives you an idea of the depth that you can get with this. That's, that's really intense, actually. If you look at the camera. See how it shifts? But yeah, I'll change it back so you don't all get, like, blinded. And I'll turn it down a little bit because this game does seem quite loud. Right, hopefully that sounds okay. <clears throat> Intro to gameplay, play through the tutorial. Probably should, as I've never played this before. So let's see what this game has to offer. You can always press start and select to quit the tutorial before it's complete. Now let's begin. Do I need to use a touch screen? Moving your character. The player's character is displayed on the 3D screen. You can move it by moving the circle pad. Try moving the circle pad by looking at the 3D screen. Okay. We have movement, guys. <clears throat> well done, moving on. Step two, sonar. The enemies don't usually appear on the 3D screen and can't be attacked. Even if you can't see them on the 3D screen, enemies will show up as purple dots on your touch screen. As with 16 enemies on the radar now, try touching the touch screen. Okay. Well done, did you see the colour change? These are sonar pins, essential to defeating enemies. The top meter on the 3DS screen shows the remaining sonar pings and refill when the rhythm bar reaches the right. Okay, this is this is weird. This is not what I was expecting. I was just expecting a standard like shoot up style game, but this seems like something entirely different. Try using an entire sonar meter. What's that mean? What am I actually doing? Well done! When the sonar meter pings are crossed over by the rhythm bar, they create sonar ripples. If the enemy is hit by this ripple, they appear on the 3D screen and your attacks can hit them. The rhythm bar will begin to move. Watch the 3D screen. This tutorial really isn't making much sense. Okay. The ripples have made the enemies appear. Moving on. <clears throat> Once an enemy is visible on the 3D screen, they can be attacked. Press the LR button to launch a blast towards your character. This is your attack. 
While attacking, you're invincible and can defeat any visible enemies you hit. Um, is that it? Do I just need to... I just need to cross over them. Well done. Firing consumes energy. You can't attack if you run out. The energy meter at the bottom of the 3D screen shows how much you have left. Energy is regained by revealing enemies. If an enemy goes white, it's about to fire an attack. You'll be damaged if you're hit by the projectile. So watch out if an enemy turns white. Man, I'm not. I'm not picking this up. This is. This is really weird. But I am impressed with the 3D. Like, oh, you can see it sliding from side to side. That's me. That's me adjusting the slider on the 3DS. <clears throat> Although it seems weird that you end up looking at the touch screen for a lot again. Items will flow in from the back of the 3D screen at a consistent rate. You can catch these by running into them. Go on, try it. Well done. You can add bonus items or recover hit points. Try and get as many as you can. HP spheres. The glowing sphere around your character show your hit points. These spheres will disappear if you take damage. If you take damage when you don't have any more HP spheres, it's game over, so watch out. We're on map mode. Try playing this mode first. In this mode, you'll progress forward by clearing stages that are placed on the map to feed the boss in order to complete the game. Free play mode. This mode allows you to select a stage and play just that. Compete for the best score. Time attack. Select a stage and see how fast you can clear it. Complete for the fastest times. So this mode, blah, blah, blah. Royal is supposed to be switched on. Look at options. And I skipped the last one. Never mind. So that really didn't make much sense. I think you're supposed to tap the enemies on the screen in time with the music and then a bar goes across and then you hold down the L button and move over as many enemies as you can. Select world map mode. Welcome to the world map mode. This is an intro to this mode. Would you like to view it? Yes. You can always press start and select. Press start and select quit to end the tutorial. Now let's begin in world map mode. The goal is to travel across the map, which consists of many various stages and routes to defeat the last boss. You can only move between four stages at first, but the number will increase as you complete tasks in the challenge list. In the middle of the screen is an icon that shows where you are. There are three parts to this icon. The point mark shows where you currently are. The scroll dial is used to scroll across the map. The command ball includes all the commands. Touch the command ball that's rotating at the center. You will see five command plates. Play, touch this to play the stage where you are. List, touch this plate to display the challenge list. You can check the status of how many challenges you've completed by looking at the list. Icons, touch the plate to change the design of your ripples and sonar. Close, touches the, closes the command palette. End, touch this to end the world map mode. On how to scroll across the map, touch anywhere on the map and slide across. Try to scroll over the map. Try it out, okay. Well done. Doing well so far. <clears throat> the scroll dial displays in the center of the screen and is connected by a line that drags out from the point mark. If you touch the scroll dial when you have the line displayed, you can return to your mark point as if you're reeling it back. Try it out. If you touch the scroll dial when you have the line displayed, what's the scroll dial? Uh, the scroll dial displays in the center of the screen is connected by a line. If you touch the scroll dial, oh, you have to actually hold it down and it spins around. Okay. Next is an explanation of dream points. The number of dream points is displayed near the command bar. Dream points are required to move around the map. One move requires one DP, having zero makes you unable to move, so you'll have to clear the stage you're on to gain more DP. The amount of DP you gain is calculated based off the score you obtain when you clear the stage. If there's any stages that you can move to where the point marker currently is, a move mark displays on the route to that stage. Touch the move mark to move. And lastly about the tracker, as you progress through the game you'll notice the trackers will appear randomly on the map. Trackers will chase you around the world map, don't let them touch you, or else this concludes your tutorial. Man, this whole game is making no sense whatsoever so far, so... Do I just press play first, or do I move? Let's just press play first and see what happens. 
Okay, we got nice trees in the background this time. Um, apparently, I still didn't completely understand what to do. So, you have to use the touch screen to hit the enemies and also pick things up at the same time and watch out where you're standing. Okay, it's starting to make sense, I think. And then dodge all the bullets as well. I don't know if there's a limit to how much you can put in the touch screen. Um, I think you have to, like, time it as well, so you sort of try and figure out where they're moving to. So did I actually get anything? So, where's the bar that tells you how long you can stay in attack mode for as well? Oh god, this is really difficult to focus on both the screens at once. Game over already. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not getting the hang of this. I wonder what the consensus about this game was like. Let's try again. I don't know if I've gone live properly, because no one's joined yet. Is it okay? Yeah, seems fine. Maybe everyone's just busy. Right, okay. Anyway, let's try that again. Hmm. No, maybe it's not working properly. My camera's frozen. Hold on a second. Why is my camera frozen? I thought something was going wrong. Hey Alex, yeah, you caught me just as I was going through one of my curse moments. Camlink 4K is not is not recognizing anything. Try and plug it back in. Oh, it's all plugged in, okay. Hey, there I am. I don't know what was wrong with that. Well, anyway, it seems okay now. So, this game is not what I was expecting at all. But let's see whether we can actually make sense of what to do this time. Uh, okay, yeah, it seems fine. Good. Right, so... I am still trying to figure out what I need to do on this. You have to use a touch screen in time with the music. This is really difficult. And then use the L button at the right time to... Oh god, and you, you have to look at where the bullets are on the top while you're filling in the gaps on the bottom. Okay, two of them. Ah, watch out for the bullets on there. Look at where they are down there at the same time. I can't tell if you're supposed to get them, like, tap the dots 
in the right place or tap them where you think they're going to end up. I was promised a regular shoot em up. This is just weird and difficult. And this is only the first level as well. I'm still not sure where you can see how many bullets you've actually got either. Because you can't just keep holding the L button down, you have to press it at certain times. Kinda reminds me of Big Bang Mini on the DS a little bit, but more complicated. Yeah, it looks like you need to predict where the enemies are actually going to end up. rather than where they are on the bottom screen. I think I'm doing well though, because we've got like an extra pattern beginning to show. I can't believe this is a first level. I can't believe this is a first level and I've died twice already. And there's... I must be doing something... Let's see, list, what does that do? A challenge has been completed. Draw a three by three square with the sonar. None shall pass. Defeat every enemy in a stage. This is crazy difficult considering this is the first level. Uh, let's see what other options we've got here. Icons. Uh, not sure what Ripple is just yet, but let's try changing that to a star. I think Sonar's the bit that appears on the bottom screen. I don't know whether that will actually help or not, but let's see whether that whether that made any difference. Oh, okay, cool. So that changes the pattern on the bottom screen. Um, so you have to. Man, this is this is too much. So you have to predict where the enemies are going to end up, and you also have to time it in time with that rhythm meter going across, and then you have to move on the top screen, and then you have to hold down L at the right time in order to move over the enemies and attack them, but you can only hold L down for a certain amount of time, else you run out of power, and then and then you'll just end up touching an enemy and end up dying instead, but you also have to dodge the bullets on the top whilst looking at the bottom one because you can't see the enemies on the top screen. Oh my god. Whoever made this was insane. Uh, so I think we're going to end up around there somewhere? Okay, maybe I'm getting the hang of it though. And then there's the bombs on the top going across the bottom there that you need to keep an eye on because that's how much power you can use while holding down the L button. Maybe? Oh man, I'm not getting any of those. There's one. Uh, there's one. I don't know when the level finishes either. Is that it? No, there's more. I'm determined to at least finish one level. I like how abstract it is, but man, it's difficult. Oh no, I got him, but he just went off the screen. Oh, where did they all go? Hey, we finished the level at least. Did we? Oh no, this is the boss. So, you have to... I don't know how you're supposed to time it. You've got to time it in time with... Is that actually hurting him? Maybe. I need to hit, hit them. So you have to kind of predict where the boss is going to end up when that rhythm bar goes across by touching the bottom screen at the right time. And that will cause it to start taking damage. And then it's going to shoot the flowers out and then you can attack the flowers 
like in that line there hold it and that is how it actually takes damage i think because doing that doesn't seem to actually do anything i don't think but that did But now I haven't... Oh, right, okay, so that other blue bar at the bottom... I think I'm starting to understand it now. So the second blue bar at the bottom is how long you can attack for. Um, and the blue boxes are how many things you can put on the touchscreen. And you have to time the things on the touchscreen in time with the bar that's going across. And you don't really need to look at the touch screen, you can look at the top screen. And sort of see the silhouette of where you're pressing. So you can kind of just draw... Draw circles in that area. And try and fill in the rest. Yeah, there we go. And then go back over there. And then come down that corner. Oh, am I supposed to attack him when he's in that form as well? I think I get it. Hopefully there's no time limit. The music stopped though for some reason. This is such a weird game, no wonder it didn't sell very well. I like it though, it's very unique. What a unique concept for a game. Did the boss just fly off? Killed 148 enemies. 34 items. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Seven dream points. Last two minutes in a mini boss, slow and steady. Place a sonar ping four times in a row. Defeat 30 enemies without moving. Play with earphones. Well, technically. Um, unlock another main route. Okay. The stage has been revealed. Stage 21. Wrath and Anxiety. Stage 31. Stage 36. What is, what is going on here? Divinity and Anxiety. Stage 46. Stage 41. Infinity and Anxiety. And then we've got... For some reason, a lot of spots on the map have just opened up. Uh, well, how do I know where I need to go? Let's try that. I don't know why they're not in order. This is number six. Okay, now I'm controlling just a, a crosshair. Okay, now I've got a laser beam. Cool. I think the idea is that you just keep your pen on the touch screen all the time. Oh wow, I've got the fire in one go. And then there's one over there. Wait for the laser to recharge. I need the, the Kid Icarus stand to play this one back there. I can end up getting cranked. I don't know if I'm getting hit by those bullets that are coming out either. Or whether I can just ignore them when I'm in the firing phase. I think when I'm firing, I'm invulnerable to the bullets. So once you've unlocked uncovered the enemies. You just go across like that. And then you just have to stop firing to recharge. Yeah, maybe I was trying to play it too slowly before. What a weird concept for a game though, this is like nothing I've ever played before. Well these enemies are already uncovered, which doesn't really make sense. The whole point of using the touch screen is to, is to uncover them. Right? Managed to keep firing longer there. 
I think that's what picking up those blue blue triangles does. There's also a yellow one there as well. Watch out. Okay, what's going on? Boss fight? Do I need to figure out where he is? Is it going to be the same as the last fight? Oh, now I can attack him. That's how the boss fights work. Yeah, I did the last one really slowly then, because I didn't really understand what I was doing. I'm not sure when it changes to the phase that you can actually attack the end. No. Is he dead? Yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's hurting my hand though, I'm having to hold it like that and use the touch screen at the same time, which... Is alright normally, but because I've got all these cables going down to the computer, it's weighing it down a bit. Keep a full music track going for one minute. What does that mean? Defeat a mini boss within 60 seconds. Yeah, draw a 4x4 square with its own art. Purity and harmony. Stage number 7. I don't know where all these stages are. Are they just. But that's not all of them that are popping up. Oh, maybe it is, actually. Okay. So, because I did that well, there's no loads of other stages. Okay. Let's try another one. I don't want to spend too long on this one game, because I do have some other ones to play as well. This one might be interesting. This one you can connect to the internet and play other people's um, RPG maker levels. I'm going to try and peel off that CX sticker as well. So hopefully it can still connect, there you go. Hopefully it can still connect to the Wi-Fi without needing to update, because I have done the homebrew stuff on the on the 3DS, so hopefully that won't be an issue. But let's try one more stage of this. See whether this is actually good enough to include in my Hidden Gems video or not. Or whether this is just too weird for its own good. It's not what I was expecting. At all. I mean, what do you guys think of this game from what you've seen so far? Good? Interesting? Or just too weird for its own good? Too confusing? Or maybe too repetitive, because it seems like all the different levels play the same. See, I don't mind playing this because I only got it for like three quid, but if I'd paid like 40 back in the day, I think I would have been quite disappointed if this is all the whole game is. Um, it's an interesting concept. Considering it's supposed to be like some sort of rhythm game as well, the music's not really that... The music's not really at the forefront of it, which is a bit weird. And considering they called it a rhythm bar, it doesn't really seem like things are happening in time with music. Much. But I'm getting the hang of how it plays at least. And you don't really need to be that worried about the bullet, do you? I don't think. I'm going to have to stop playing this soon because my hand is starting to cramp from holding it like this. I can't really balance it on the table either because you need to use the L button to shoot. I do love the 3D though. You guys obviously can't see that. That's really cool. Ah, I'm going to have to try and put it down like this. Too weird. Uh, no, I ordered it off off the website. That's why I didn't know it had a reprinted cover. I 
I was just looking for some cheap games to potentially include in a Hidden Gems video. But maybe this one kind of misses the mark a bit. It just, just seems like someone's weird experimental project rather than a full release. Especially if all the levels play the same, just just with different sprites. Maybe I can include it as like um, an honourable mention. Maybe if you're into this kind of game, maybe you'll enjoy it. But yeah, it just seemed a little bit repetitive. I'll just have a quick look and see what the consensus is online for this game, because I really have no idea. Uh, Dream Trigger 3D. Uh, Metacritic rating 54%. That's kind of generous, I think. I actually thought it would be less than that. Let's, uh, let's go on window capture. Chrome. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Let's see what people had to say about this game. Some user ratings are giving it a 10 out of 10. Which uh, seems a little bit overly generous. There we go. Got it at the right size. Uh, this game is really good, however, it's confusing to learn. The main point people don't understand, you don't have to dodge your bullets if you're firing your invulnerable. Yeah, I did get that in the end. What about the critic reviews? Two positive, 14 mixed, and eight negative. One of those games that would have hugely benefited from eShop presence. Uh, the concept is difficult to graf uh, grasp the payoff in grasping the high score and hearing the stage theme its entirety is worth it. The game is hard to recommend to many players but those with a taste for the art and ability to forgive rather bizarre design flaws may find a good little hidden gem, a hidden game underneath this potential inaccessibility. Yeah, maybe it's a bit too weird for its own good. The worst review is 25. Off-putting and inaccessible at worst when coupled with the difficulty level and crude production values. If it had a more casual, approachable tone and a greater focus on one core mechanic, then it may have been a great game. It's a muddled nightmare. Yeah, honestly, that, that sounds about right. Let's try the next game in our list. So... I'll give that one for, uh, a pass, but considering it was only like three quid, I don't really mind trying it out. I've always been curious to see what it was like. So, the next one. I've actually had this one in my collection, but I haven't actually played it much. Hopefully this is a much better game. This is Shinobi. A lot of people don't even know that the 3DS had a Shinobi game. Obviously the originals on the Mega Drive are really popular. But let's see what this one's like. I also picked up another really interesting game recently as well, which is a interesting puzzle game which uses the 3D dynamic. This one here called Shifting World by Rising Star. So I'll be interested to try that as well. And apparently the Epic Mickey game for the 3DS is actually a really good 2D platformer. So we've got that to try out as well. But let's try out Shinobi next. And let's see if Twitch will let me change the name of the game that I'm playing because then this will separate it out on my Twitch channel. Shinobi. Uh, what is the 3DS one called? It's just called Shinobi? Shinobi 3D?
But I don't think they've got the 3DS one. Can't see it on the list anyway. Uh, let's just pick the one that says Shinobi. Successfully updated. Okay, we'll see. Um, I did play. I did play this one a little bit, but let's start a new game here. And the 3D in this one's really good as well. Like you can see how the background shifts there. Again, this is mostly for the video, but if I put the red and blue glasses on, you can see kind of you can get an idea of the depth. So let's uh, go on. Should we try hard? Warning! Okay, let's try hard mode. And I'll turn the 3D on when we're in the level as well, so you can see what that looks like. Is there any other cutscene? No, there is no 3D for the cutscene. Ninjutsu has no style. The secret is within you. Is that a bit quiet? Never protract the fight. Yeah, try that. The first blow is the last. Only hardcore game in here. There you go, you can see the 3D, so... Basically, everything is pushed back, but the, just, the background goes a lot further off into the distance. So I won't make you look a bit like that. I'll turn that off. So, press R to parry attacks. Okay, that's something new for this Shinobi. Let's see what else. Press A to, through, uh, to throw the computer or jump and press Y to attack. Press Y and then release to do a powerful slash. Press Y three times to perform a standing katana combo. Press B to jump once in the air. Press it again to double jump. Press A to throw a canoe fan, double jump and press Y to perform a slam spin. Press up when hitting the ceiling to grab a home. Press X to vault over it. Press X to use a chain to grab. Oh my god, there's a lot to learn here. Press down and B to perform a dodge slide, good for dodging in tight places. It can also be used to evade some of the attacks from magic scrolls to the one ninja magic. Biomagic destroys most enemies. Yeah, Earth magic gives auto parry, lightning magic makes you immune to damage for three hits. Water makes you run very fast and jump very far. Yeah, good shows lives, bonus winter blah blah blah. You can probably figure all this out. Touch screen shows score, level time, select magic, grab a chicken to replenish health, get coins, bonus coins, mastery coins, ninja scroll, attack power of bombs. Blah, 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 that is a lot. That's a lot to take in in one go. Games don't trust you to figure things out for yourself anymore. Everyone knows real ninjas eat chicken. 1256 AD in Japan. Okay, so... Yeah, so in the top left there you can see that they recharge over time. And combo. And look up and down. Press R to parry. Okay, it seems like that's going to be a big part of the game. The 3D is really nice. Again, unfortunately, you can't see that. But a big part of the 3DS for me is the actual 3D effect. But yeah, you can also parry the enemies too. It jumps super high. Oh, okay. I think I skipped that bit out. I should have done it there. I'm playing on hard, so maybe I shouldn't 
I shouldn't rush through this. I'm just gonna die instantly. This game is uh, actually understandable, unlike that like, Dream Trigger game where you're just playing. I'm not getting used to doing the parries very much, though. I haven't tried any of the magic or ninja scrolls. Jump towards the wall and press some holes in the direction. Grab on with that. What's that shape there? Nothing there, though. Right? Oh, wow, that was quite quick. Wow, he died in one hit. What did he tell for the life? I need to remember to parry. Double jump and use the chain to reach high places. I'm getting a lot of things that I haven't used yet. Ah! Did he just kill himself by jumping into the fire? That's it. Oh, I don't know how I did that. Really. I think I'm hurt. Hey, I think it hurt me. Okay, that's cool. So if they're facing away as well, you can use the chain to... Ah! Bomb! You can use the chain to hit them when they're not hopping. Oh, that's a nice transition as well. I didn't realise it would be like that. 2.5 days. There is no victory, no revenge or intent, only action. I oh, so we're going to get like some cool metal music then. Only last one second. Oh, now we're on horseback. Okay. Ah! I look away for one second and get hit by a tree. I don't know what, that takes a while to come back. You can jump, you can slash, that's better. Nice nod to Shinobi 3, having a nut. horseback section. I don't know if that was something I was supposed to pick up or attack. Ah! What happened? I think I hit a tree. Does that reset me back to the start of the level? I can't remember what the orange orbs do. I think it's that power up at the bottom. 
Where do I activate it? I can click on them, but they don't seem to do anything. Oh my god, every time I look away, I get hit. Okay, I skipped out some of the level one. So that doesn't look good. <laughs> Two and one. Ah, oh, no. You can't change angle when you're actually jumping, is it? Maybe I can't use these because I haven't filled up that file on the top right. But there we go, we got through that bit at least. And then we're back on land. Oh, I think that's the best way to get close to enemies, not, not doing the parry. Yeah, my power meter's filling back up now. Oh, now it's... Let's try changing it to a different one. Does it change your actual attacks, maybe? Oh, no. I misjudged that. I always wanted to try Shinobi X on the Saturn as well. I'm really curious to see how it plays. Because I love the ones on the Mega Drive. This one seems okay, but a little basic. Shinobi and Shinobi 3, especially on the Mega Drive, they're amazing. Ah, no! The only thing was killing me as I jump. really worried then that he was going to hit me back. Another bomb. Maybe that's that's the thing about hard mode, you find bombs in there. Yeah. I need to remember to fight them as well. I'm not really using them much. I don't know how that didn't hurt me. Ah! It's not a time for that. Is he just going to keep walking at the same Use a delayed wall jump to avoid the spike collide. Yeah, nicely done. Ooh, that was a bit too delayed then. That was close. Down and B to slide in those bits. Oh no! The controls are pretty good, actually. Oh, although I'm jumping too high off the walls. That's better. Kind of a shame you can't use the D-pad to move, considering it's a 
the side scroll. I thought it said you could use the D-pad, but the D-pad actually moves the camera. Hello, Balloon1. How are you doing today? Thanks for stopping by the stream. And what's your favourite 3DS game? If you play one. I'm playing a few today to come up with a list of hidden gems. I think that's what I'll have to call a video anyway, because that's the only thing that will actually get any views. Oh no. That's going to start me right from the beginning of the level. Let's go through it once more, see if I can do it. Oh. No, oh, this way. I'm still not doing the parries. Whoa, I don't remember that happening last time. Maybe I'll do it halfway. I know parry is R, but I hate timing it. Try and get my timing down by looking at the powers. through it a lot better this time. Oh, that's how you do that, you just hold the attack button down. There's a good set of combos there. Almost walked straight off the edge too. Oh, it means I gotta go through a bit of the force. Gotta remember I can use that as well. Oh yes! Good one! I wonder if I can tempt the enemies over to use against the bombs as well. You know what, when I played this game the first time, I didn't really think that much of it, but I'm actually quite enjoying it now. There is no victory, no revenge or intent, only action. There's something there on the, on the sky there. Ha! He went straight into the tree. He's doing what I did the first time. 
He must have been watching me. Oh god, I'm doing a lot better. That's what I like about these old school action games. When you uh, when you have to replay the levels, you kind of get a feel for them. Ah, I still can't get a feel for changing direction in the air though. I don't think you can. Is that it? There was a weirdly long end to the stage. Please don't make me restart from there. Okay, I've got two lives left. Let's see if I can use my parries properly this time. Come on. Ah, why did you do two at once? My fault for choosing hard mode, I suppose. Yes! Yes! Got him. Okay, shoot. Alright. Use the more? No! Parry. Get him. I feel like there's a really good level of skill you can get in this game if you, if you do play it properly. Yeah, so I did that jump first time as well this time. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the hang of this and using the projectiles. Sorry, stop then. Oh, that was close. Come on, let me attack. I can't remember where I died. I think it was just a bit further up here. Jump out of the way then. Ah, oh, yes, good one. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this now. Then we've got to go through this wall jump section again. For some reason, my um, blade is on fire. Well, I think I've done something good because I've got a two times. Oh wow, I'm even doing this a lot better this time. And then flip back the other way. Yeah, this is how it's meant to be done. Perfect. <laughs> and then I get it as soon as I land. That's alright, because there was some health right there. Oh, parry! Get in! Didn't even need to that time. I need to remember you can duck as well. Okay, we made it to a boss fight, I think. Oh, that's where I died, wasn't it? Because the bridge collapsed. Okay, we made it over the bridge. Now this is all new. Damn it. I hate them ones at the top there. They catch me out every time. Whoa, okay. Calm down. Oh man, that's difficult to dodge. One more hit, yeah, got him. And a few more hits for good luck. Wow, is this still part of the first level? Okay, now we got a rafting scene. I like how it's mixing the level up as well. There's a lot of different unique sections to it. All enemies have a weakness. Look for it. My weakness is not being able to parry properly. That was why I hated Samus Returns more than any other Metroid game. Because I could not get the timing down for the uh, melee attacks. What is 
Jesus, Mario 2. Wow, well, I thought I'd fallen off then. Good job you can jump off the side. Must be near the end of the level now, surely. Oh my god. Need health. Ah! I put a bomb right. No, really? Ah, oh, no. After I'd gone round the side as well. I swear that was right at the end of the stage, too. I can't believe that. That's unfair. Well, I know next time. I don't know how I managed to get through here so easily. This seems really difficult. But I guess because the jump's so. The jump is so high, the platforming's not actually that challenging. Yay, did it easy. I don't know why it wouldn't let me parry him. Though. Oh, I didn't realise there was spike. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. Really? I don't, I don't think that counted. This guy again. Oh, right, that's how you use it. I think they use whoops. I think I used the wrong one. I don't know when when you meant to attack him. One more. No! Okay. Did I have another life? Last life. I think I'm... I know what I'm doing now. I know how to use the magic. Or the scrolls. And... I know when to attack the boss too. So we just have to get... Oh shoot! Really? No! Where's that starting from? Oh man, I'm not doing it a third time. I'll do that off stream. I can't believe that. I just walked off the edge. Hey, we got some stuff. Achievement unlocked, new award. Some concept art. Do you want to see what that is? Uh, where would that be? Awards vault? Oh, that's cool. They included some concept art from the game too. And you can unlock more as you're going through the game. Okay, so that was Shinobi. A really good game, but a really difficult one. But I definitely enjoyed that, so that will be making the lifts. And next... Uh, let's try something different. Let's try... Let's try... What should we try? What should we try? What should we try? Let's try this shift in world one, see what that's like. And I'm going to have to change over the name of the game again. So, from what I can tell, this one's a weird sort of puzzle game. Let me know if anyone's ever heard of this one. That's what it looks like. And for some reason, it looks like a dog's chewed this one. Look at all those, like, dents in the box. I only got this one a few days ago, so it wasn't it wasn't my dog. And whoever had it didn't scratch off their points cards as well, because there's an unscratched pin code there. It's such a shame that you can't really use them anymore. So, I'm really interested to see what this one's like. I've heard about it for a while. It's got a nice jazzy theme tune. My story begins a morning like any other, where I received a strange letter. It contained an invitation from a so-called Duke of Shadows. The specified address took me to an old house that looked abandoned. Behind its front door, I found a parallel dimension. As you do. And then, loading screen. World 1. Okay. 
Welcome to this dimension, sir. I suppose you are here because of the invitation. If you wish to move around in this dimension, use the Circle Pad Pro. Oh my god, it's one of these games that's going to explain every little thing to you. The door marks the end of this area. I'm sure there's a lot more to it than this. Level success. It wasn't Skittles that did it, but look at look at how the, look at the state of this. How this turned up. It's all chewed up, and the back as well. If it'll focus, look at that. You can see it in the in the light there. Like, what the hell happened to this game? Was someone just gnawing on it? This dimension in which we're currently standing is divided into many different zones, each with its own door. The Duke is waiting for you in one of these zones. Okay. The, um, the animation's a bit weird. Like, his legs just stop. Oh yeah. And for the video I'm showing off how the 3D looks for each game, so... Let me do that, and if I turn the slider up, then you can see... Not as prominent as some of the other games. Only very slight. I do like the fact you can tell here on the on the side of this one that because it's moving that way, they're actually coming out of the screen a bit, so you probably can't really tell on there. But the edges of the platforms are actually slightly coming out of the screen, which is a really nice effect. The thing that is a bit weird though is the squares in the background don't actually go back at all, so this bit here going down there. That doesn't actually go back, which kind of makes for a weird effect. But anyway, I'll turn the 3D off again now so you can see it properly. Um, use the L or R button to shift. Whoa! You may feel a little dizzy after this first shift, but I'm sure you get used to it very quickly. Okay, what? That is... That is going to make for some confusing levels. Now I understand why it's called Shifting Worlds. Shifting Worlds. Okay, that's pretty interesting actually. It's a pretty unique idea. There's another game that I haven't got yet as well called Crush 3D, I think it's called. Which is a similar... Yeah, Crush 3D, which is a similar puzzle game. Uh, let's see how much that is. Oh wow, I may as well just buy it now. It's £2.50 from Kex. I don't know why I thought it was more expensive. Buying games on stream. There we go, that's on its way. Then PayPal logs in. Interesting to try out. Two pound fifty. No, not all games are crazy expensive. How are you adjusting to shifting, sir? I hope this particular trick is enough to dismiss any second thoughts about your presence here. Uh, not really. I'm still pretty confused about the whole thing. I can see some of these levels getting really confusing. Let's see what happens on the map. Yeah, the whole map actually flips upside down as well. Uh, so I need to do it over here and jump over. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it, I think. Level success. Seems like... I was about to say maybe a little bit easy because it's kind of got arrows to explain what you need to do at the minute, but I'm guessing they'll be... they'll be gone soon. Oh, does that mean you can do it sideways too? Yeah, 
Whoever came up with these puzzles is pretty clever. Some paths are closed, but you can open them with a the key. The key is inside the door. Don't hesitate to grab any keys you come across. Oh, it was just one key for both of them. Okay. Level success. Pretty interesting game. I've also got... I'm kind of going to play this one off stream. Virtue's Last Reward as well, which apparently is a really good game. Again, not really played it, although I really loved the DS one. Um, which was called 999. Nine persons, nine hours, nine doors. They're kind of like escape room visual novels. I think I'm missing something. Kind of confusing how you go inside inside the walls, which are blocked off. Definitely, usually you require some time to adapt to this dimension, but I see you're doing fine. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm lost already. We did it. What do you guys think of this game so far? Hopefully there's some more like gimmicks to the levels because it does seem a little bit simple. No fall damage. Level success. Let's do a few more, then we'll move on to the next game. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile because it's like it's a unique concept, but the gameplay isn't really that exciting. There isn't really anything going on. Again, it just feels like. Um, kind of like someone's experiment that they just turned into a game. Like, hey, I got this cool idea, let's just keep making loads of levels and then put it on the cartridge. But there's not really much to it. Transition's a bit weird as well when you pick the key up. Oh, how do I get in there? Uh, I've just 
stand on the top of it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. For some reason that key key holes down rather than getting rid of them. Level success. One more level, let's see if anything interesting happens. This can't be all the entire game is, surely. Although, maybe. Is dangerous. Oh my god, the first thing that can actually hurt me. Feels like they just randomly slapped a load of bricks together and called it a level. Is that it? Okay. Okay, is that the end of the first world? Is this where I was trying to get to? Level success, you belong to time attacks. As I went through the door, I was greeted by a resounding voice. So here's my last guest. My dear friend, if I've invited you here, it's to put you through a few trials that I like to share with people of the same open-mindedness. And he finished his talk by saying, we're going to have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, creepy. I mean, I guess it's an interesting mechanic and vibe, but... I don't really think there's enough to the game to make it worth persevering with, honestly. If, if this is all the game is. Again, I'm going to have a look on um, Metacritic and see what people had to say about it. Uh, what's it called? What is that? Shifting World. 55. Again, yeah, kind of mediocre. The first of the Shift series to adapt the famous puzzle gameplay to full 3D. Let's, uh, window capture back on. There you go. You can see what I'm looking at now. With some nice jazz music in the background. It's only got two user reviews. Wow. One gave it a nine and one gave it a zero. This is a game that really surprised me. It takes a unique twist on the puzzle genre. Well, a bit to everyone's taste. It's a solid puzzle game and a refreshing take. And the zero says, it's a puzzle game you won't want to figure out. Part of the puzzle... Becomes tedious with the overhyped shifting mechanic. Yeah. A disappointing to see a promising title held back by problems. It's a good game under the surface, but there's unconceived design decisions. Slow down and useless minimap. I wouldn't say the minimap's useless, it shows you where the keys are. The simplicity of this web game is lost in this flabby, oversized spin-off. Contains the germ of a great idea, but execution leaves a lot to be desired. Uninspired level design. Unfinished beta version at retail. You're not missing out on much. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I'm going to include this one in my, in my gems video, unfortunately. It does seem a little bit too basic. 
like they were saying. It's a good idea, but maybe bad execution. So unfortunately, out of three games that I was hoping to include at the minute, only Shinobi's actually made the list. So Shinobi gets a pass. Unfortunately, Shifting World and Dream Trigger 3D do not. So let's try... Well, I know this game is good, but I need to get some footage for it. So let's play one of the latest games ever to come out on the 3DS, Andro Dunos 2, which is a really cool shoot 'em up. Although the 3DS version does leave a little bit to be desired. But anyway, let's go ahead and change the name of the game. Andro Dunos 2. Update. There we go, we now are officially playing Andro Dunos 2 for the 3DS which I actually did a video review on when it came out. And it was one of the... Um, it was one of the last ever 3DS games to get a release. And yeah, you can see the loading screen is awful. I love the music as well. But yeah, you'll see there's a lot of issues with the 3DS version of the game, unfortunately. Which detract a little bit from, you know, how good the game is. Like, the sprites are a bit stretched and stuff. But I'm not here to complain, I'm here to have a good time. So. Uh, let's just tweet a bit about it changed games. Okay, let's see if anyone wants to join. Maybe Saturday isn't a good time for streaming. Uh, not that I'm really bothered because I'm capturing footage at the same time. So thanks to anyone who did take the time out to watch. The 3D in this game is pretty horrible. You can't really tell. But this is one of the only games where I actually have it turned off completely. And unfortunately, it only runs at 30 frames a second. But the underlying game itself is awesome. It's just a really bad part of it. I can't really remember how to use any of the other weapons yet. So. Hopefully I won't need them. Let's see how far I can get without them. It is such a shame that only runs in 30 FPS. Like. But it is really cool to see a horizontal shooting system. Because there aren't really that many shoot books for it. There's only actually three that I can think of. Thunder Force and that I don't know what this one is. It was on the Mega Drive as well, but it came out just in the 3DS and the Steel Empire, so. Don't worry, this game does get more challenging. I remember there's one level where I just kept dying over and over again. It's a shame they messed the 3D, 3D up on this. Because it could have been really good. Ah oh, no, I forgot you can't touch the floor. Damn it. I can't believe my first death was just from touching the floor. Not even from any of the enemies. I think we're coming up to the first boss. And then you can hear the awesome boss music. Okay. 
remember the bottom for the power weapon. I killed him so fast you didn't get to hear the good bit of the music. Turn it up a little bit, I think it's not that quiet. I'm gonna have a look at the reviews for each of the games that I play as well, so. We're on this screen, let's see. Oh wow, Android Dunos 2 doesn't even have any critic scores for the 3DS. Or user scores. I guess that's how much of a limited release it was. Well, the cool thing is, when you finish the level, you can actually um, choose where to dedicate your points to upgrading. And these are the different weapons. This is what I forgot though, you can actually swap between the weapons. So, I'm just going to... Put them all equal. For now. Yeah, that's crazy. This game doesn't even have any reviews. Oh, that's how you change it. And then, when you, whenever you pick the power up, it depends on what weapon you've got equipped, you can level them up. So, and obviously, when you take damage, damage that damage goes down. Let's see how long we can just stick with these in the standards. Laser. Or maybe... Maybe the screen one's useful for this level. Oh, I got it. Because there's enemies coming from all angles. And then swap back to the laser and things are just going straight ahead. Oh no! Wrong button! I was trying to do the giant laser attack, that's it. A doesn't do anything. Really. They should have made A uh, do the big laser as well, if it doesn't do anything. Ah! He's just coming straight up to me. Awesome music though. Definitely one of the best things about, about this game. Apparently B is continuing it, doesn't make sense. really annoyed earlier about the comments on my previous video. They were saying um, something like, yeah, sure, you can have your own opinions, but the games you, your, your favourite games are objectively wrong. But what do you mean they're objectively wrong? It's my opinion. How do you know what I enjoy and what I don't enjoy? the boss that looks like Kirby. I think that green laser is the best one to use here. You can attack multiple things at the same time. They must have got inspiration from Kirby. Or Kirby got inspiration from the original Android doing us one by another.
Oh, that was close. I forgot that. that was close. Oh, am I destroying it? Am I damaging it? Slowly? I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Yeah, okay. Big explosions. Stage clear. Huh, I just got another comment now. I've never seen anyone naturally smile so much. Okay. And someone said they don't care that I get that I got a million coins in Mario. I didn't expect anyone to care. I care though. I care. Kind of. I did at the time. Say three. stage after this, which annoys me, or in the cave. Because you're really narrowed in on playing points to move. This is a cool level. In 2D at least. If you put the 3D on it looks like the enemies are on the wrong way. I just thought as well, talking about 3DS games, there's another series that I kind of missed out on, and that's all the 3DS Mario and Luigi games. So I would love to try and track them down at some point. I know there was quite a lot on the 3DS. Oh man, not doing very well here. Too much going on. Oh yeah, I like that attack. That's what I should have been using to try and clear this area, right? And then you have to wait for it to recharge before you get your final power back. problem with auto-scrolling ones with actual um, obstacles in the stage itself, you can get stuck behind the scenery. Oh, too fast, too fast! I don't think there's a way of speeding the ship up either, so... Like, you see that all the enemies are too fast or they're all too slow. Last time. I'm supposed to. Oh, power. Oh, my God. Pea shooter. Again. Oh, no, I thought I was invincible when I was using it. Apparently not. I am there though, but I just came back to life. Take advantage of the iframes. And again! Oh no, it doesn't work. Why do I think that would work? Let's use the back of the And I think the yellow one is the one that shoots back on the So at least this boss has a good reason for changing the angle of the weapons. Whoa! Didn't see that doing. I think I destroyed one of the cannons. There we go. No, they're both destroyed. Yeah. 
I don't know why it chose to give me eight lives, but that's it. Stage clear. And I'm getting Nintendo fun. Here I focus. Oh, uh, look. Got the A button ingrained in my thumb. I meant to assign them to some of the other ones, but I did Stage four. Deep Sea. This is the one that I got really annoyed at. Because you don't have much room to move. So I need to remember to use the green the green weapon with the spinning deck. Maybe I need to level it up, that's only on level 2. There's a lot going on. I can't even fire behind him with it yet. Three. Still can't fire behind me, it's powered up. But... This bit reminds me of Rocket Knight Adventures before you go inside the castle. I don't think it is actually. I'm going underwater. I like that transition. That's really cool. So I need one more power up. And then I'll be able to shoot in all directions. Again, love the music. This game has a great soundtrack. Even if it's a little bit generic. Oh, really? Oh, man. Straight away. I need to remember when I'm using these special attacks. I'm not in front of uh, This is what I hate about this level. You have, like, no room to maneuver. Right, Just stay out of the way still, because I can still get hurt. I'm just going to keep mashing Y so I can use the power as soon as it becomes available. And that just means that I'm just left with the forward facing one after. No, that's not fair, that came out of nowhere. Die. You can see why I get annoyed at this level, mate. Fight time? Maybe? Still need one more like that one. Oh no! This is the other bit I kept dying on because I forgot that you can hit those boxes and die as well. It's not fair. That's why I prefer vertical scrolling ones because usually the scenery doesn't hurt you. Look at this, how are you supposed to charge anything here? And now I'm back to level 1 again, great. Let's try using a different weapon. Even though it doesn't fire in all directions. I like the way that enemy appears out in the dark. Ah! Straight into it. Maybe I was a little bit harsh on this game in my review, but... Too late now. Mash in Y until I can use my special attack. I'm not sure what the yellow special attack is. Oh, there we go. That's cool. So that's a double two-way one. Which is great for a boss like this that decides to shift over to the side of the screen. Okay, so there's the front-facing one again. 
hopefully time it to get rid of his, his attacks as well. Which kind of worked. Let's see if we can do it again. Get rid of those ice snake things. And what is going on now? No. Oh, extended ice balls don't come time. Whoa, that was close. Ah! Now what? Stay on the side? Yeah. We must be nearly dead. Is that it? Yeah, yeah we did it. He's freezing to death. There we go. Level 4 complete. Or oh, stage 4. Stage 4 complete. And it is still recording. Good. I always keep an eye on it. I wonder if this game's got expensive. Let's have a look on eBay. Because the 3DS version was pretty difficult to get. So. Android Gunos 3DS. Uh, maybe it depends what region. Looks like the UK one's pretty cheap. But the American or European one looks a lot more expensive. But yeah, if you want to get this game, get it while you can. It's only about between 35 and 40. But it will definitely go up at some point. So if you like what you're seeing, go and grab yourselves a copy while you still can. I can't remember what level 5 is like, actually. Uh, back in space. Machine City. Remember, some of these have like big lasers, which can hurt you a lot. So. Let's try and power up the green weapon again, because that's my favourite one. There's a... I don't know what the S stands for. S level up. Super level up? Don't know. Oh yeah, this is the one where the 3D is completely messed up, because the buildings are on the wrong layer. <laughs> and yeah, these are the stupid... Laser beams that I don't really know about. Let's try using this weapon for a bit. I don't really use this one much. I like how fast this level is. Like. And now it's warning you about the upcoming walls. They're like instant death if you touch them. And there's enemies coming at you at the same time. I really wish using that special attack would give you a little bit of invincibility at least. Invulnerability. But it doesn't do anything. So even if you're using it like that, you can still get hit. So up, and then middle, and then you stay there. Right, let's swap back to that one, because that is a pretty good weapon actually. Use that one for clear out the things behind. But I just remember not to rely on that extra beam. I still need to dodge all bullets. I can't remember what the pattern was. Stop and down. Easy. Is there a power up? Yeah. Let's get this green one powered up again. Okay, that was pretty easy. I didn't need to worry about any of that stuff pouring down from the ceiling. Let's switch back to this one. I've been kind of enjoying using this one, actually. Uh, stop! I don't know why it keeps switching back to the green one after I use the power up there. It's weird. I swear I'm not using the green one. Is that a glitch? Ah! Damn it! See, it stayed using the same one this time. The. whatever it's called. Side. M laser. 
I'm not sure why sometimes it changes to use the green ones, instead. It's a bit weird. Oh, what? I didn't even see what hit me then. Something came out of the floor. I've only got three credits left as well. Okay, so I've damaged the turret and now it's only firing out smaller bursts rather than the big ones. So, uh, no! Uh, okay, two credits left. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near the end of the game then. I was hoping I'd be able to get through it all. But I'm not good enough. I'm streaming there. Okay, at least I took, took them things out from the floor this time. And I think... Oh no, the turret is still doing something. I thought I'd taken the turret out completely. Oh god, this fight's taking a while. I was trying to charge something else up. Uh, does that always move down? Okay, got rid of two parts of it. Or is that all of them? Nope, there's another thing. Now we have to worry about this turret here. Let's swap to the laser, because that one's on level four. Uh, I don't want to go that way. Oh my god, that was close. Oh no, I didn't know that was going to fire things up. I would have gone on the other side otherwise. Yeah, use the behind one. I think the thing at the bottom is also something that needs to attack in. Oh god. No, it's firing fireworks. No, wrong one. Damn, down to two. No, that didn't take away the credit for some reason. I won't question it. Stop the yellow one. Get rid of everything from the outside. Back to the laser. And then remember that you still need to dodge a bullet. Uh, damn it! The one that comes up from the bottom, I keep forgetting about. Yeah, we did it, finally. Okay, we can move on to the next level. Thank God for that. I thought that was where my run was going to end. Stage clear. Ah, my thumb's hurting. Ah, oh, damn it, it's nearly 11 o'clock already. I still had loads more games I wanted to get through. I might have to do another stream tomorrow. Because I'm away from Wednesday next week, so I really wanted to get this video done by Tuesday at the latest. But I haven't got any footage yet. That's kind of why I came here tonight to record some footage. I thought I could make a stream of it at the same time. Oh, it wasn't changing to the green one. The white one has the green lasers coming out of it as well. As well as the few green bits in front of it. Ah! I didn't see that come in. I think this is where my run's going to end. I never actually managed to finish this. I got to the last level. I couldn't actually get past it. I've got it on the Switch as well, and it's, it's definitely better on the Switch because the frame rate's a lot smoother. But it's nice to have a portable... Well, I guess the Switch is portable as well. It's nice to have the game for the 3DS still. And Coco Polo is actually coming out on the 3DS as well because limited run... Shit! I hate this! I hate this bit. I hate this weapon. Yeah, Coco Polo is coming out from Limited Run for the 3DS too. So if you want another possible final game for the 3DS, then check that out. Uh, oh no, there's just things that come out of nowhere on the stage. There's no heads up. Well, I guess that was the sound of the laser. But it didn't really help knowing where it was coming from. Into my final credit. Uh, so many bullets. I 
very dramatic music. Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I remember this boss fight being really difficult. Oh. Whoa, okay, that can stop its bullets. That's pretty good. I think I'll swap between the yellow one and the blue main one for this fight. Is that actually hurting it? Do I need to wait for it to open? I think it's still hurting it. I don't need to wait. Ah! And that hurt me. Final life now. Final credit. I don't think you can even get more credits in here. What is going on here? Okay, I killed it, apparently. Uh, now I've got a different thing to worry about. I've got to be really, really careful too. Because I'm on the final credit. Just going to chip away at it from a distance. Whoa, that was close. Give me that. Is that it? We did that part. Here's part three. And if I angle this for Oh no, I didn't even see that first point there. I was about to say if I angle this one right, I might be able to attack both sides at once if I'm really careful. But I was a little bit too far forward. Now I can use the blue one. I may switch back to yellow and grab that power up. Oh my god, how many parts does this fight run? Part 4, no? Whoa, they're fast. I know, they're sending like metal man lasers at me. It's my special again. Oh no, what are these going to do? Can we take them out? Yes. This is a great fight. I love how different all the stages have been. Although I'm really scared. Because I'm down to my last life! That was close! Have done it? Apparently not. I guess we get in there though. How can he still fire his laser? He's okay for turrets. Now he can't, surely. Let's see what we want to power up. Green. There we go. Get another bit for green. Now part five of this fight. Oh my god. Maybe this is the last level actually. It seems like a final boss, the amount of different stages it has. Oh my god, am I actually going to finish it? I bet I jinxed myself now I said that. I didn't even think I've been playing particularly well. Ah no! Too many lasers. going on here? Why is it raining laser beams? I need to get out. Oh no, now he's closed up. Yeah, I got a few hits in at least. A few small ones. So I need to actually time... I need to actually time it well this time. Rather than just mashing the Y button to get the special out. Uh, I'm scared of blocking myself off as well, so... I'm going to try and move up and down in the stage. What's going on now? Ah, I'm scared. Did I manage to get through? Okay. Swapping back to this one. And my special has recharged. I don't know what's a good one to use. Maybe not that. What is going on now? Yeah, that probably wasn't good. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. That was a good hit. Full special hit him then. Ah, oh, no. Closed off. No! Is that it? Game over. Ah, oh, I was doing really well then. Man, that fight was crazy. That was like six boss fights in one. Hey, that was my best best round on this DS, anyway. Oh, man. Well, there you go. That was Andro Dunos. Pretty cool game. 
Now, I think tonight I'm going to play one more and then I'll come back tomorrow and do the other ones. So, so far there's only actually been two games worth playing. Let's see whether this one works. I'm curious to see whether I can actually connect to the internet for this one. So this one is RPG Maker. RPG Maker Fez for some reason. I don't know why RPGs like having the name Fez after them. It's some hipster thing. Anyway, the idea with this, obviously, is the fact that you can download other people's creations. Which should be really interesting. Oh, we're playing D&D &D tomorrow. I forgot that. Okay, I won't do another stream tomorrow then. I'll need to uh, remember where we're at on D&D. &D. Uh, let's see if network actually allows me to connect. Could not connect. Uh, maybe because this has the capture card in. Let's see what the creation thing's like then. I can try and connect for the for the video. Let's try map settings. City, dungeon, or interior. Retro town. I used to love messing around with RPG Maker. Now we have some music to choose from. Yeah, Logan would be mad if I forgot. Especially as it's mostly about me now with that castle that I acquired. There we go. Let's use Castle Town. Okay, now what do we do? Uh, let's put some houses down. Okay, this isn't really like the normal RPG Maker. This is very much everything's already pre made. Let's put a nice fountain in front. So, how do I draw a path? Okay, that's selecting things, but what can I do with them? Weird, there's no tutorial or anything. It's just dumped, dumped me straight into the game. Category. Fantasy, is that all I get to choose from? There's trees, but there's no path. That's just to move it around. Uh, I am stumped. Is that a path? Am I not allowed to put a path down? Oh, okay, we've got different styles of buildings. We've got different castle layouts, including some futuristic looking ones. Are these the paths? These look like walls, though. Whoa, that's huge! I feel like this is something I would need to put a lot of time into. I've seen some really good creations online though. Let's see whether I can actually move. Okay, I didn't think I was in an overworld. Apparently, I can't even get to the town I just made. didn't work. So I need to somehow put the character inside. Oh, you guys can't see it very well. Most of it's on the bottom screen, so that's how I'm seeing the game. Um, 
Maybe you're not allowed to put a path down. Well, how do I tell it where to put the character at least? Edit event. Place event. Okay, this is how you put characters in the level. Event content. Add new event. Wow, this looks pretty complicated actually. Screen control. So you can make cutscenes as well. Make the screen flash, make it change colour, change the weather. Time control. So let's just try a basic message. Enter message. I have no idea what I'm doing. Confirm. And I get to choose a face as well, a shocked face. area of the screen do you want it to display? On the bottom, I guess. <coughs> okay. So that's how you set up conversations with the NPCs, I guess. Um, don't move. Speed. Somewhat slow. Start when character touches. I don't know what this display means. Past judgment. Set whether pass through judgment is carried out for graphics. So... There's my NPC in the middle there, but how do I put the main character down? Encounter. Place encounter chips. What is that? What is this? Place all? No. Overwrite changes? Have I actually put anything down? It keeps popping back to that spot for some reason. It won't let me click on anything there. It's just saying encounter rate zero. Um, edit map. I think I'm in over my head with this. Hey, how did I find the grass? What did I click on then? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Whoa, there's loads of stuff. Okay, cool. There's 11 pages of things. Why? This is pretty full featured. Dungeon designs. Cloud things. Grass. Dirt. How do I get rid of this big wall that's in the way? Well, you have to erase it section by section. I've destroyed half my fountain now. And half of that building. I better get rid of that one. Uh, at least I'm kind of understanding what to do now, so. Probably looks awful. Uh, I wonder how you change it to do the interior of the buildings as well. What's that one do? Move map chips, copy map chips. Let's uh, put that building in there, that one looks nice. It's a bit too big though. Let's get rid of that one on the end. So, how do I actually tell it to put... Okay, that turns the events on and off. How do I actually tell it to put the main character there? We've also got a load of fantasy items as well, like bags, we've got levers, we've got treasure chests. This is actually really cool, this is like the proper full RPG Maker toolkit. Let's put some more barrels outside these houses. And 
some fruit and whatever they are. Um, I'm a bit stumped on how to actually tell it to start here though. Let's put that fountain back. Okay, set collision. Oh, that's good. It's already set up for you by default. When I was playing with... Um, when I was playing with RPG Maker XP, you had to set it all manually. Uh, I wonder if you can actually open the manual on here. I want to find out how to put the character down. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't explain all this in the game. Create a story. Test. It's not really explaining much. Yeah, choose a city. Got it. Choose the map size. I get that, but how do you put the character in? Set collision. Choose events. Maybe it's part of the events thing. Switches and variables. Seems really cool, like there's a lot you can do. Move control, conditions, screen control, sound control, branches. Wow. Database as well. Character settings. Maybe I'll just have to figure it out myself. That's getting too complicated for this. When I play, when I press test play, it's not taking me to this map. What about oh, from continue doesn't exist? It looks like I need to change the overworld to include the town somehow. I wonder if there's a music creation thing in here as well. So. I don't see the option to go to a different... I don't see the option to go to the overworld. It's only showing me the town. Generic field music. Oh, is it using this one? Maybe. Ah, oh, there he is. There's the main character. What's he doing there? I think I just made him drown. Uh, okay, better fill it back in. So, what we need to do, I think, is put a icon for the town, and then. Set it. Well, set it as an event, maybe? Event edit. Easy create, let's try that. Move location to retro town. And then choose where you want to start, I guess. I'll have the entrance to the town over here somewhere. Choose a direction 
facing right. Auto fade in, confirm. So let's give that a test play. And now you should be able to just walk into the tiny icon. Yeah, it worked! There we go, and now we can see my town. Let's see what this guy says. I have no, I no idea what I'm doing! And nothing does anything. Yay! Well, there we go, we're in my town. Look how big and empty it is. I like the fact you can run as well, you couldn't always do that in RPG Maker. I wonder if there's any built-in um, built-in games. Let's see if there's any other options. Or let's see if there's anything that people made. Oh, no, it's a blank card. That's just the one I was doing. Um, play a created game. Let's see, is there anything in there? Oh, really? There's nothing there. Can't do network. Editor BGM. Oh, that's nice. You can have ambient. Ambient sounds while you're editing. In different categories, too. That's cool. Keep it on edit, I guess. This seems like something I would really love to play around with. But yeah, I'll leave that to play offline. Maybe I can do... Upload something to my gameplay channel if I do ever make a... Make a game or a level in there, but... Yeah, really impressed by... Uh, by all the different options that are on, on here. Look at all this. Database. Character databases. You can make parties for the for the player. Set their skills, their profession, their weapons, game info, game title, the genre. Yeah, I should probably get this connected to the internet and download some games before it's too late, but um, I'll do it on this 3DS because that's the one I actually use to play the games on. But yeah, really impressed by that. And I guess I'll leave it there today. Unfortunately, I didn't get through as much as I wanted to. And I'm kind of really worried about not being able to make a video by next week now. I didn't realise I was busy tomorrow. So maybe I'll just stream some offline. Or maybe I'll just cut the video down and do it in two parts. But I'll figure something out anyway. So thanks anyone who was here watching. I know it's been kind of a slow stream today, but I just wanted to check out a few games um that i'll be recording for my upcoming video so hope you enjoyed it anyway and hope you look forward to the video fingers crossed it's out next friday if i can actually find somewhere to edit like in the hotel when i'm away for work but anyway thank you and see you all soon goodbye